My name is uh, Sayyid Mujahid Hussain. I'm from Pakistan. I live in Islamabad and I have been uh, coming here for so many times. Uh, I have my business here in uh, Iraq and I have my office in Baghdad and in Kurdistan also. No, it's not my first visit. Uh, probably I would say that I have come here more than 50 times. So uh, for the first time I have come when I was 22 or 23 years old in 1980 during uh, Saddam regime. And uh, then later I have come in uh, 2008 in after Saddam regime, 2008 for the first time. And then every year 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. <laughs> well, uh, you know that uh, uh, in 2008, there were some uh, difficulties and uh, there were so many uh, hardship for the people those were coming here during the way and uh, reaching to the Karbala. Uh, sometimes uh, they had fear even uh, coming from the Baghdad to Karbala. So uh, the, I think that government of Iraq have done too much for uh, uh, in this regard uh, and they have uh, really done so many uh, good and they have taken some uh, good security uh, steps to make the uh, uh, this journey safe for the people those come here those visit here and now i think that this is a uh, fear free zone now I feel very comfortable over here. I don't have any fear when I come here in Karbala, I live here, I go to Baghdad, I go to Kazmia, I go to Samara. I don't have, uh, feel any fear. I'm totally comfortable with the things that done by the government over here. The first thing that uh, coming uh, from uh, Najaf to Karbala, uh, it's called Mashi. During Mashi, I have observed so many things. Uh, the, the, the most uh, uh, important thing was the hospitality, hospitality of, uh, hospitality of uh, the people. Uh, the people of Iraq and they have really, uh, they, they love uh, people, uh, Zairin, they, they love Zairin and they offer so many different kind of uh, foods and they have made the places uh, f for the people those can uh, stay there and those can take some rest and uh, for the praying and I had seen so many uh, medical camps and uh, there's, there were so many things and really uh, in the history also and in uh, this time in the world I can't see anywhere such kind of things. So it was really very good experience walking from Najaf to Karbala. And uh, the, when I come over here, I was not feeling uh, that I'm tired and I'm, I can't go to the harem and I can't walk like that. But I could walk very easily. I uh, Everything was... Um, I don't know what was that, but I feel that this is the something you can say the, that we believe and uh, this is our Iman. Those uh, gave us uh, that kind of emotions that we come over here, even it's uh, uh, more than 60, 70 miles, uh, kilometers we come, uh, we walk from Najaf to Karbala. And when we come over, we don't feel any tiredness and like that. During Arbain, uh, so many people from the different uh, countries and even in, from the different areas of Iraq, they come over here. In normal days, uh, most of the Zairines, they come uh, and not, not too much in uh, in, uh, in number, 
but in our urbane i had seen that so many people uh, this the i think uh, this time more than 32 million people have come or have visited so uh, the we uh, could we had some difficulties in having uh, some uh, the, the place where we uh, place in hotels and also but still for the food and for other things uh, of life uh, like medicines and like that we haven't felt any kind of difficulty in that only some difficulty we could face and really uh, and you when you go inside the haram the peop the people of number of people are too much so reaching to the uh, to uh, near the zari it is difficult in normal days it is not that much difficult you you can visit i usually used to say to the people that those come for the first time i tell them that don't go on special events you will not find the uh, room uh, to pray and uh, you need uh, when you come here you need some concentration in the prayers so during that uh, in arbain and uh, like in muharram uh, we don't have that kind of situation here so many people are here so the, the, the concentration for the prayers we we cannot find that yeah, i tell you that uh, money wise there are so many people uh, living in the world even living in uh, pakistan in india and uh, in other countries they are very rich people and they can spend too much money uh, for coming over here even uh, i heard one uh, mujtahid he he said that the people if want to come uh, placing their force on kinds they can come they have this much money they can come uh, to the karbala and uh, but but they they cannot come so i i would not say that money matters here i saw many people those are not rich and they manage to come here somehow and they come here and they wish to come again even so uh, the hardship that we are facing it, in uh, this time i think this is not uh, a big deal if you see past in the history uh, the people those were coming over here they were facing too much too many hardships and they were giving sacrifices too much sacrifices for reaching over here so i think now at this time of age uh, we don't have that much difficulties but still you know that uh, when we come over here even we face some hardships when we embrace zari imam sallallahu alaihi wasallam and we come in the haram we forget everything i would tell you about my experience when for the first time i have come here in 1980 at that time uh, there were some uh, difficulties for these hirings at, at 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 that time uh, now Uh, i can't uh, see that kind of difficulties but at that time it was but even now after coming over here uh, after 50 more than 50 times i still feel that i have come over here for the first time and when i go from here i feel that uh, i wish that i should I, i i should come again i pray when i when i go from here i pray uh, i go f- uh, and i visit imam and i pray that uh, imam please give me one more chance to come over here so <laughs> it is uh, people living over here also i had seen in karbala they are they, they born in karbala and i saw i asked that people what you feel Uh, they say most of them they say that if we go away from karbala and we go to other part of the country or we go out uh, uh, outside our country we go abroad 
we really uh, when we come over here in Karbala we feel uh, something different and we like that before going to our homes we should go and uh, and visit Imam. Uh, at that time uh, during Muharram and uh, during Arbaeen uh, some limited uh, uh, type of uh, programs were uh, I mean there were some uh, limited time for the people uh, to mourn and uh, for the uh, for the prayer and that uh, when I was here in 1980 uh, during Muharram I had seen that uh, uh, at night at 11 o'clock they closed the doors of the uh, haram and people couldn't go inside and people were crying here and weeping. Although uh, uh, there were not so many people uh, like now we see that uh, uh, the people those come over here but they then they opened the doors in uh, before morning prayer. So we had some very limited time uh, here and uh, only uh, after the prayer of uh, Zohran till Maghrib people were coming and they were uh, mourning and they, they were praying and then they had to go back to their places. So they were not living here like now I can see that in, in Banner Harman there are uh, uh, thousands of people those live here and I see on the roads and I see in the streets of the uh, Karbala that people are uh, sleeping uh, at night in the streets and like that uh, it wasn't uh, like that at that time uh, now things are totally different I really appreciate the efforts of the government of Iraq those have made safe uh, the journey uh, um, coming to Karbala and living in Karbala, no, how they manage it, uh, they check the people, thousands of people, uh, billions of people uh, and there are so many checkpoints and people come from that checkpoints, they manage it uh, uh, for searching the people and for searching all that and uh, they have done uh, security they have taken so many security measures and also uh, the staff of the haram they uh, they give too much respect to the uh, to the people to the zaring and uh, it it is the different now it is the, it is the difference now i observed before uh, there were different things now it's uh, the cooperation level the hospitality is totally different than uh, that time i had seen here uh, this is the i mean uh, every person has, has different experience in this regard because uh, the concentration in the prayer and the visit to, uh, and seeing the Imam uh, for the reason uh, only for the, for the visit reason is different and when you come over here and uh, see the uh, I mean visit the Zari of Imam and Haram and go inside the Haram and you pray uh, this is the uh, feelings different feelings when you have in, in your uh, mind then you feel that when you come over here in Karbala and you go back you feel some changes in yourself you, you, you feel that you are more nearer to the uh, Allah but still uh, the people those cannot come but they have some uh, Kurb uh, with the uh, uh, Imam. They are, I think, sometimes I feel that they are more better than us, but still, when you come here, you feel some different.
yes, uh, seeing Karmula from close is uh, really a uh, different experience. And uh, when we see uh, on, on TV, uh, they show some, uh, uh, some areas of haram and uh, they show some uh, different, dif different views of the haram that we can't see. Uh, when, when we come over here, we can't see by our uh, 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 eyes. But uh, even then, when a person come over here and he see the place, he really has some uh, different. Every person has some picture in mind of Karbala. And he, I ask most of the people, because I have come in very early age, now even um, I forget that what was my, oh, at that time what were my feelings. But uh, I ask many people those come here for the first time. I ask them that what you feel. They see the, we find Karbala totally different than that, what uh, we were thinking about. I will give my message to the viewers that uh, the Iraqi people, how they are giving sacrifice to save the name of Imam Hussain Islam and to, to guard the uh, message of Karbala and to guard the people, those come over here, I will give that I have seen daily martyrs coming over here they they bring their bodies here the iraqi people are giving these sacrifices daily this is not easy giving sacrifice of 10 15 20 peoples daily even sometimes more than it and this is not it was not started a month before or two months before or six months before from many years, Iraqi people are doing it. And the government of Iraq is managing it. And they are fighting against the, against the powers, against the uh, Daesh, I would say, against other uh, agencies. Those want to damage. Uh, the message of Karbala or those want to give damage to the Shia or, or it's not particularly uh, what Shia but they want to uh, damage the good cause for the human being. So they, the people over here are really giving very high, uh, I mean very, too much sacrifices for this to save this uh, cause. So I would say, I would like to uh, say to the people living in other part of the areas that they may have difficulties, such kind of difficulties in their area. So don't hesitate to give the sacrifice to save this cause. So uh, though although we have some difficulties in our area, but we haven't experienced this kind of situation. Uh, that I can see in Iraq now, they are re really giving too much sacrifices. And uh, the, during this time, it's a big challenge for the uh, government of Iraq to save the Zairene, to save this area, and they are doing it very well. I really appreciate the government of Iraq. I really appreciate the all the management in Karbala, in Najaf, in Kazman, in Samra, they are facing big challenges and they are doing it very well.